Good Thursday morning. So glad you could join us on this day, May 28th, as we rise in prayer with petitions and thanksgiving to God. We welcome you to our service of sacred music, art, and prayer, some of which is thousands of years old and some of which is spoken from the heart just this morning. As is our practice, we begin spoken prayer with a moment of silence. And I invite you to take a few deep breaths to quiet your heart and still your mind. Our service will resume on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer in just a moment. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life that he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Getting into a boat, Jesus crossed over and came to his own city. Whoopsies. When Jesus came to the other side, to the country of the Guardians, two demonics met him, coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many swine was feeding at some distance from them, and the demon demons begged him, you cast us out, send us away into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the swine. And behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the waters. The herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything. And what happened to the demonics? And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's say the second song of Isaiah on page 86 of the Book of Common Prayer. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts, and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For your ways are nor your ways are my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, 
and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, as incense on the altar of God, we bring forth our prayers and petitions, our thanksgivings and sorrows, either spoken silently or aloud. Lord, we pray for all manner of people. We pray for those who are isolated and alone in terrible need of friendship and connection. We pray for those who are cramped in full houses. We pray for everyone in between. We pray for families separated. We pray for the sick, the dying, and the dead. We pray for those who attend to them in hospitals, those who attend to us in homes, grocery stores, public transportation, mail, those who prepare food, Lord, we pray especially for the poor and the vulnerable in this time of pandemic, for the many whose lives have been made more difficult in these very difficult circumstances. We pray especially for the people of this parish we pray for Rick, Lisa, Colton, Marion, Willie, Arlette, CJ, Luella, Andrew, Lance, Sharon, Jean, Brian, Judy, Robert, Anne, the Shirk family, Monica, Mary, Mark, 
Lucy, Kathy, Claude, Heidi, Lawrence, Stacy, Esther Dwinell, and her family, Kathy, Michael, Edmund, Catherine, Krishna, Karen, Emil and Tamar, Catherine, we pray for those who have died, Ahmoud, Elizabeth, Natalia, Charles, Imgard, Mary, Elizabeth, and Bill, for their family and friends and all who mourn. Holy God, we invite you into our lives today. Fill us with your presence. Vanquish our fears and anxieties. Give us the strength to pull closer to one another in love. Fill our hearts with mercy and peacemaking. Be with us in moments of joy and tedium. Surround us both as individuals and families and as a community so that we as the body of Christ may show forth your love in this world. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Amen. Amen.